On the surface, it looks like the builder has been simplified, but has it truly been simplified? We're gonna talk about that and more, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, as liking up the video puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you a note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so, I don't wanna sit here and waste your time. Um, we all remember in 2K24, there was a lot of debate about where attributes contributed to what type of physical abilities. Okay, so as we all remember, there was a big debate on whether speed with ball actually really mattered. Did you have to have your speed with ball up? The speed with ball, in my opinion, only thing that really mattered about speed with ball is if you was just trying to get an animation. If you wanted to get Kyrie Irving dribble style, you went to 90. If you wanted Devin Booker, you went to 80. If you were cool with pro, just go 75, right? And that, to me, was an issue. But then Mike Wayne tweeted out and said, Agility has no effect on ball handling. The only attributes that affect dribbling are ball handling and speed with ball. Okay, so they added agility, but now they're saying the only thing that affects ball handling is your ball handle itself and your speed with ball. The problem that we're always going to have with this is the fact that speed with ball, when 2K Labs and these other creators that have these, you know, sophisticated equipment, they do their test. You really don't see the effect of speed with ball unless you're running like full court. Those explosive, quick, you know, two or three steps, to me is what is valued. A lot of people play park, you know, a lot on a 2v2 court and that type of deal. If you're playing half court basketball, or you're playing in a half court set, who cares if, you know, you can go, you have 99 speed with ball, but the only time 99 speed with ball takes an effect is if you're literally going full court you know from one side to the other we need speed with ball to just be what it is and how we're going to be playing most of the time which is going to be within the first two to four steps that we make all right because i i don't want to see a video like we have in 2k24 where we saw like a you know a 6-9 that was literally moving just as fast as a 6-2 and the 6-2 had a higher speed with ball the reason being is because the first initial steps, those explosive steps, they were all the same. They were in line. I don't know if that's going to be the same issue for this year, but if it is, we're going to have a major problem. Okay? We're going to have a major problem, especially when Wolf came out, and I, I said I spoke about that in my video a couple of days ago, when he spoke out about how small guards is going to get more attribute points. And I said, in that video, and I'll say it again right now, it doesn't matter if you know you can get a, a hundred more attribute points on a 6-2 guard. It doesn't matter. People are still gonna make bigger guards because bigger guards are just better defensively, they get rebounds, you're just better all. Everybody, you know, the bigger you are, just you're just more versatile. If speed with ball, and I'm going back to it again, if speed with ball and is only gonna be predicated on how you know. The, you know, the, you're after your 20th step, you're going to start seeing a difference. That is going to be an issue because no one is going to care. Because regardless, in 2K24, yes, Kyrie Irving dribble style was the best dribble style in the game. It's not a debate. It's not a debate. But a lot of people were cool with pro because, again, pro dribble style, it was still very, very, very good. All right? You were able to momentum out of either hand. You are still able to do a lot of things. And you're taller. You're 6'6", six, six, you're 6'8", six, you're 6'9", right? There has to be a point in time to where two things have to take in place here, okay? So yes, the builder's been simplified, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Now we know cut is dry, right? Ball handling is only gonna be affected with your speed with ball and your ball handle, okay? Agility is supposed to affect your defense, your lateral movement, and that type of deal. That is simplified, that's easier. We now know when we see agility, we're like, all right, bet. This, I need this for my lockdown. You see what I'm saying? If I'm trying to be a defensive player, and that type of deal, okay? But the other categories that are still in the game, is that really truly going to open it up for us to truly understand what we're getting ourselves into while we're making a build? Now. There was, Zach did say that for, there's going to be a lot of information given to us. We're going to be able to, you know, use our player and animations that we want before we play and all that type of deal. 
The problem is, and again, y'all let me know. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong here. The problem's going to be just because we're able on day one to check out animations and stuff, we're really not going to know how effective they are because we just don't know truly how the game's going to be playing and which way the game's going, right? That is always going to be the issue. And until we're able to respect our players, which 2K is not going to do, it's almost like a forget, like it's... 90% of us are going to make mess up our first build. 90% of us are going to mess up our first build because we just don't know how the game is going to flow throughout the year. And also, this is the big kicker, and all of us can agree on this. I felt like 2K24 on release was great. We ain't need to touch nothing. But then we got that patch. And then it seemed like defense went straight to hell. Um, it felt like the shooting just got all off, right? So I, we got to stop touching the game. We got to stop touching it. You know, th what I love so much about, you know, the 90s is when you got the game, that was a damn game, right? Glitches was in it, whatever whatever it was, that was the game. And when you make your build or, or you play the game, it is what it is. Now in this day and age where you can make patches and updates and this type of deal, Shoot, after the third or fourth patch, I feel like I'm playing a completely different game. My build is no longer relevant to what I'm, you know, what I thought I was gonna be making on day one. The patches gotta stop, man. The patches have to be on like game changing type deal or deals, right? Like, you know, yeah, in 2K24, when people were getting bumped um, out of bounds under the basket, you know, and they were just head faking and then the defender would just jump and push them out, yeah, that needed to be fixed. But why was defense nerfed to the ground? Why was shooting, you know what I'm saying, completely all over the place? Like, I, you know, shooting was just all over last year. There were so many patches and nerfs and hot and hot uh, patches or whatever you call them, updates. Um, it just changes the complete game. So I'm gonna go all the way back to, like I said in the beginning. Yes, the builder's been simplified. We know exactly what we need um, when we're making the build. Like, we know exactly what each attribute's finally gonna be. It's not gonna be confusing. It's not gonna be like, hey, well, you know, is our lateral quickness attached to our speed? Or if it's actually attached to our lateral quickness, because it looks like my, you know, the higher your speed is, the more your lateral quickness, then 2K was like, well, I think it's like a 50-50 split. Like, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. It was confusing. This year, it seems like they, you know, they, they made things, they categorized things, they made it simple, like rebounding hacks has its own category now, it's purple. Like, they seem like they simplified it. They gave us a lot of information, a lot of data where we're making the build, but as long as they're still going to make patches in you know the, the first week and then the second week and the third week there's patches of galore we're still going to have problems with our build because our builds are not going to be you know what we thought it were on the day one of the patch right that's where the thing is at but y'all let me know in the comment section how do y'all feel about that should patches be done you know day one like you have been doing or should we just leave the game alone and just let us go like six seven weeks with with what we got right but I'm, I'm very curious about what y'all have to think about that, man. So let me know in the comment section what y'all think. And other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on The Banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon on The Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.